Hello, Actives family. This is John McGarry, Vice President of Sales uh, here at Actives. I am uh, very excited to be sitting next to a great friend of Actives. Uh, he's a member of our advisory board, Dr. Brett Earl, has uh, joined me here. Hello. Yeah here in the corporate office, and uh, we're super excited to have you here. So thank you for being here with us. We're gonna talk about a number of things today. I've spent the last hour with Brett, uh, Dr. Earl here, uh, going through a lot of, a lot of the nuances of, of why we do what we do, how we do what we do, the process behind uh, some of the actions that we take in our daily lives. And uh, it's been incredible because not only on the science side, which we'll talk a lot about, but on the, the psychological side of, of why we do what we do and how we do it. Uh, but we're going to jump in and we're going to talk a little bit about some of the things that are happening in the, in the human body today, because there's a lot of challenges that are facing us, whether it's the, the air we breathe, whether it's the water we drink, whether it's the food we eat, which we probably don't do any of those things to the, to the best degree that we possibly can do. And so we provide and, and uh, feed our bodies with a lot of, of bad things that then create a lot of problems in the body. And uh, one of the major problems that are happening throughout the body on a daily basis is inflammation. Right. We get this inflammation. So Dr. Earl, tell us a little bit about what inflammation is. Inflammation is, is the body's response to something it doesn't like. Uh, it's as simple as that. We don't have to really get more complicated than that explanation. It can be chemicals, it can be trauma, it can be um, energy, it can be all kinds of different stimuli that really re react with the body and the body doesn't like it. And so it's its first response to, to that, that impact, that event, if you will. Well, the challenge becomes, and there's two really important sources of inflammation, if you will, or types. There's acute inflammation. And believe it or not, that's healthy for us. That's good. It's part of the healing process. So after you have a big workout, and if you've done it right, you get that soreness. And you, well, that's part of good inflammation. It's called acute or immediate inflammation. Then there's chronic inflammation. Chronic inflammation, not good. That means that you're just in this chronic cycle of inflame, inflammation and the response doesn't stop. And then that sends out signals to the rest of the body that frankly it doesn't understand and can't get on top of. And that means pain, swelling, decreased activity, and you would not believe the amount of energy that is required to keep chronic inflammation going. So getting inflammation under control, especially chronic inflammation, is critical. Super, super powerful. So let's talk a little bit more about this chronic inflammation because obviously we really wanna to try to remove this from the body. We wanna to try to uh, kind of put out that fire, if you will, because that inflammation is that, that burning, that, that, that pain and those things, those are the effects that come from it. But what, what are some of the negative side effects of having too much inflammation in the body? You know, and that's a great analogy is that it's, it's a fire. And if you think of, of the, um, the, the acute inflammation as that flame, if you will, and it, it kind of consumes things completely, but then it dies down and, and hopefully it dies down and goes away. Well, chronic inflammation is just this smoldering inflammation. And I don't know if you've seen a smoldering fire, but if you do watch, because it puts off all kinds of smoke and chemicals and, um, and the reality is if you get near that, it, it's hard to breathe. Well, the same thing happens inside of our bodies with that chronic smoldering inflammation is it just is so hard for our bodies to deal with. And so anytime the body is inflamed and irritated, it sends out something called cytokines. These are chemicals that signal the rest of our body to come in and fix a problem. The challenge is our bodies are designed to handle acute inflammation, but chronic inflammation, it really can't handle that. And so all of these chemicals are going around our bodies trying to fix a problem, but it really can't identify what the problem is and what's going on. It's, it's in a pattern that is unnatural, that's not appropriate for our bodies. And these, these cytokines, there's a lot of them, and they can do anything from, again, increase the pain pathway, increase swelling, edema, uh, um, increases our, it makes it so that we're not as stable and eventually can lead to additional deterioration and breakdown of our tissue. The other problem is that sometimes this inflammation is so severe, it creates a wall, a hard barrier, so that oxygen and nutrients cannot get past that barrier to the da damaged area here that is so sick and needs the attention. 
So that chronic inflammation prevents anything from getting past. Then it never heals, it never gets better. It's still sending out the signal, the smoke signal, if you will. I need help, someone come please help me, but it can't get what it needs. That's awesome. So, you know, earlier today we were talking a little bit about some of the Western medicine. We've got an individual here in our office that's got a husband that's kind of in the Western medicine side of things. It was kind of interesting because um, we talk a lot about you know, covering up the problems, not yes. necessarily fixing the problems in Western medicine. We, we like to cover up a lot of the problems. We go to a, a pain management individual that's a kind of Western medicine. They say, well, take this pain medication that just covers it up. It doesn't fix the inflammation. It just kind of covers it up. Yeah. What, what do we do? What, what can we do to, to help kind of reduce some of that inflammation in our bodies? Well, and that's such a great point because the reality is um, we, we hear about anti-inflammatories, things like ibuprofen and or Aleve or Advil or those type of things, naproxen, um, some of those medications that are, that are termed anti-inflammatories. And the reality is they are good at getting and helping with the acute inflammation. And certainly they help us a little bit with the pain. But the challenge is they actually make the chronic inflammation in the long term worse. And this data is very clear. It's not fuzzy anymore. The problem is we've been doing this for 30 years. 50 year, I mean, it's just been the norm that if you're in pain, you grab ibuprofen, you grab um, naproxen, you grab some of these medications that are just everywhere. And, and then it becomes a, a point where you're taking it every day and you're trying to get on top of it. I even know of doctors who, um, who prescribe it and that's just every day you just take that. The challenge is it increases your risk of heart attack, stroke, diabetes. I mean, the list goes on and on. Not a good player. And, and, and this, isn't, this isn't pseudoscience anymore. This is real science. Orthopedists now, if they've kept up on their reading, now if you have a broken bone, they will not let you take ibuprofen. They will not let you take naproxen because it blocks the body's ability to lay down new collagen. And that is the basic core protein your body needs to put itself back together. It blocks it. So you need something that that gets that chronic inflammation out, if you will, and even helps with the acute inflammation without the side effects. And, and um, unfortunately, pharmaceutical world, they don't have that. They keep trying to look for this magic bullet, but I'm telling you, it's still a bullet. It's still deadly. Stay away from the bullets and, and look at some things that are more natural that make the body work as, as a unit, as a team to get, get rid of the inflammation. And it'll have a big impact on your health. Totally. You know, it's always interesting to hear about the side effects, you know, that the side effects come and, and you just named a bunch of them that are the side effects. You take this to fix this problem and then you have to yeah. take that to fix the problem that that, that product caused. And so it's a, a big challenge that we have in, in, in our diets and, and in things that are happening today to try to just get through to the, the root cause of those problems, to, to target that inflammation and really put it out. You know, we've talked a lot about Optimend in the past. We, we brought to market uh, about six months ago. We launched it here in the U.S. June 1st, uh, and it's a little bit different. It targets that inflammation, but it does it in a little different way. Um, tell us a little bit about like, Optimend and, and how it does what it does. So, um, and, and many of you have probably heard about turmeric, curcumin. Both are the same essence, if you will. Um, one is, the, one is the, the herb, if you will, the root, and the other is the protein extract and so forth. And, and that's all great. And, and you take so much and you do this. The challenge with it is that um, most, um, most turmeric or curcumin is absorbed at a 4% rate. So if you take 100 milligrams of, of, um, of turmeric, 4%, 4 milligrams actually gets into your body to make any difference. And so that means that you are a big walking, you know, consuming turmeric all the time to get the inflammation down. The other big important thing about the curcumin and the turmeric to bring into play here is it, it's a complete molecule. It changes the way your body interacts at the DNA level, at the chemical level. You, we've all looked inside, they have these watches now that you can see all the, all the gears move and this one moves and then that one moves. Well, that's what we're finding with these natural products that the pharmaceutical industry can't replicate, is that it changes all the little pieces, all the little things that have to happen in order to keep your body in balance, and they can't replicate that. So just that as an aside, 
But what happens with the turmeric is it's able to get in and, as we mentioned, change the DNA, change the expression of these cytokines, these chemicals, and, and make it so that the body starts to recognize the inflammation is the problem and starts to get rid of it and breaks down the inflammation. It's very key for your body's health. And so then we again talked about one of the big challenges with most turmeric, and that's that it only gets it in at 4%. And I don't know about you, but if you're out there throwing your money at something and you can only get 4% success, not so awesome. Well, that's what makes Optimum so amazing is the fact that because of Psylocke and Dexkey, we wrap that turmeric inside of this molecule that the body craves and wants. And so it absorbs it at a high rate. Um, so now you're getting upwards of 80, 90% absorption rate, really high absorption. And so that's why a couple of little capsules of, of Optimum make such a big difference in your inflammation. Low dose, high efficiency. Wow, that sounds like the perfect scenario. And, and that's what's so exciting about the Optimum. And I have a, a, patient, a clinic where we treat a lot of patients in pain. And the reality is it acts quickly within, within 40 minutes. And so you, people will take it and say, man, it's, it replaces my ibuprofen. It acts fast. It gets rid of the pain. And then it's also key that they continue to take it on a day-by-day -day basis. Because I don't know about you, but the world I live in, there's still 83,000 chemicals in this world that we have to live with, that we didn't have to live with 200 years ago. And our bodies are constantly being bombarded by additional inflammation. I need that optimum in order to optimize my health. Yeah, totally. You know, it's interesting as we talked earlier, you talked about just sharing it with people and saying, you know, man, it's, it's been simple for me just to talk to somebody and say, well, just try it. Just share this yourself, have an experience with it, come back if you have some results. And it's been funny, you, you're talking about some of the, the people that have come back and said, man, this worked. How do I get some? What do right. I do? And uh, so we, we took some of that knowledge, some of the things that you've been doing and some of the things that we've been hearing from a lot of our actives family, and we made it a little bit easier for people to just to try it. We just actually launched this uh, here in the, the, the end of November. It's going to start shipping out the first week of December. A normal size bottle of Optimend, it's a 30-day supply. Uh, we came out with a trial size. So it's, we, you can buy it in a tri-pack. Uh, it's a, it's a uh, 20 capsules in each one of these. It's a great way, especially through the holidays. This time of the year, it's a great gift to give. It's a great opportunity to be able to share Optimum and, and, and really get people having that experience. So we're excited about the new packaging, excited about this. It's a, a kind of a trial period right now. We wanna see how people uh, enjoy sharing the product and, and really using it as a sample. Um, and so we're gonna do a limited supply. Just to see how things go, I would encourage all of you to take advantage of this while we still have them in stock. I think that we're gonna move through the inventory pretty quickly, um, and then they can go on, and uh, if things go well, which we're hoping things go really well, uh, we'll look at uh, doing this on a full-time basis to be able to share with people. So with that said, I just wanna thank all of you uh, listeners for watching tonight. I wanna thank uh, Dr. Earl for, first off, for being an incredible person. I mean, he's an awesome guy. I wanna thank him for being a part of our, our Actives family as a member of our uh, advisory board. And uh, thank all of you guys for watching here to, this evening. So thank you so much. Thanks, Thanks for having me. You guys are awesome. Thank you.